Sean and Sarah, it's such a pleasure to meet you this morning. I've left an awful lot of very jealous fans back in Ireland to meet you. Um, so congratulations on the movie. I absolutely loved it. Of course, you play two amazing characters. They're quite underdog characters. So I'm just wondering what was the overall draw for you here? The overall draw was Rich Moore, really. That's, I mean, Phil Johnson told me about the script he was writing when we did a movie called Cedar Rapids together. But mm -hmm. Rich Moore just... I don't know, he's such a sweet guy. He really had a vision for this whole movie, and he really um, encouraged us all to be part of its creation, not just, you know, jobbing in as, as voices. Credit, of course, as well. Yeah, yeah, he, he included me so much that gave me a writing credit. That was nice. Mm -hmm. And were you big video game fans growing up, or are you still big, big video game fans? I, I played a lot of video games growing up, and then it probably ended around the time of Nintendo 64 and GoldenEye, which really? I loved, yeah. What was your favorite game, John? Um, I don't know. After the initial arcade game phase in the late 70s and early 80s, I kind of fell out of the video game world. I just... Really? Yeah, I don't know, I never got into really home arcade games. What's your favorite video game? I liked playing Street Fighter, but I wasn't very good at it. I always played the girl, Chun-Li, and mm -hmm. I liked The Sims as well and Mario Kart, but I was never really good at it. <laughs> um, obviously, you said before that you weren't that keen on the idea of animation before, if you thought that you were going to be in boots on your own, you know, not together, but this time you got to work together and vibe off each other. How much more fun is that experience and more laid back is it doing animation when compared with, you know, the early morning starts with a live action movie? Well, I could get used to the schedule of animated <laughs> movies, you know. It was really, and you can do other work at the same time, and I was really, I, I was the longest job I've ever had, which doesn't really? say much for my dependability <laughs> as an employee. Uh, but yeah, it's the longest job I've ever had, so I really loved that part of it. I loved going to the cafeteria with the guys mm. occasionally and being part of that campus there on Disney. You're both obviously so good at improvisational comedy. Did you get much chance to do that here in Let Loose? We did, yeah. I mean, you know, John really fought to have, and I don't think it was much of a fight because the director <laughs> embraced it completely, you know, that to to be able to record together. And that was just so special to be able to just sit across from him and, and play these scenes like, you know, mm -hmm. as the characters we were being and, and be able to do the script, which was so great, but also take left turns and digress and improvise. And it was very fruitful, you know, and it was super fun. I have to ask you about the Will Ferrell model of improvisation that you said before, where it's kind of whatever the best joke wins in that mm -hmm. moment. How does that work with you two? Yeah, I mean, that's very much how it worked on this mm -hmm. movie, was we'd all talk and then whatever everyone laughed at, Rich would mark down like that was a good one. You know, like, <laughs> And obviously you've done a lot of adult comedy as well, so was there an awful lot that ended up having to be cut? Uh, you know, I think that when, when you're improvising as a character that you know so completely, you know, um, there there isn't anything vanilla P would say that would be R-rated, you mm -hmm. know, it might, be, it might be obnoxious, it might be silly or scrappy or, you know, but it, I, I was never compelled, I never had to hold myself back from being, you know, um, inappropriate, right, okay. you know, because I'm playing a, a character and, and um, it really actually felt very free. Mm -hmm. You must have grown up watching a lot of Disney movies as well. I mean, how does it feel now that it's all done to see these, you know, big massive posters and the toys and know that you're a part of that history and that it's going to stick around, hopefully... A it's a big time. honor to walk into the Disney Animation Building and see your character plastered all over the front of the building. And you walk in, you see a still from Dumbo or a still from Jungle Book or mm. you know, all these movies that really affected us uh, from childhood. Um, it feels really, really special. Believe me, it's not lost on me how lucky I am. Mm -hmm. Despite all your movie work, you started it in theater, and I know that your theater roots are starting to tug at you again. Of course, there you do so much stuff live on stage. What is it that excites you so much about a live audience when compared with making films? Is it the buzz, or, or what is it? It's a team sport, even if you're just, for me, doing stand-up, or, you know, it's, it's the audience is kind of an equal and equal force you know and and you can only be as good as as the audience you're performing for because mm -hmm. it's it's energy we're all made of molecules <laughs> and john you're coming to ireland out on saturday for the iftas and you're going to uh, perform with your band after is yeah. that right can't wait for that and sarah you will you come to do any stand-up anytime soon 
Ireland? I want to. I love, I, I've always wanted to go to Ireland. You have such a huge fan base there. I, I work with a girl called Sarah and she, is, she hates me today that I get to meet you. So I told her I would try and mention her if possible. She, oh my she gosh, would cry. Sarah, I she wish you were here. Where <laughs> are you? <laughs> she would love that so much. I'm dying to go to Ireland. Yeah, oh, well, my mother always loved do, it and my come. stepfather is uh, was Irish. So. Brilliant. You have to come. And John, look forward to seeing you on Saturday. I'll Thank chat you. to you on the red carpet at the Iftis. Awesome. <laughs> My name's Wreck-It Ralph. Wreck it. 30 years I've been doing this. Ah. It starts to feel hard to love your job I can fix it. when no one else seems to like you for doing it. Sure must be nice being the good guy. Nice share, Ralph. As fellow bad guys, we've all felt what you're feeling. I'm Zangief, I'm bad guy. Hi, Hi Zangief. Zangief. Ralph, you are bad guy. But this does not mean you're bad guy. Zombie, bad guy. Hi, Hi zombie. Hi, zombie. Zangief saying, labels not make you happy. Good, bad. <laughs> you must love you. I don't want to be the bad guy anymore. Ralph abandoned his game. Where's the wrecking guy? Welcome to Game Central Station. Trains for all game destinations now boarding. Everything changes now. Where's Ralph? Stand by, my Kubernetes is a little rusty. Ralph's gone to hero's duty? Get out of this game, buddy! I got a brand new spirit speaking in this car. Ralph, you're game jumping? What's your name? Wreck it, Ralph. Why are your hands so freakishly big? I don't know. Why are you so freakishly annoying? All right, ladies, the kitten whispers and tickle fights stop now. When did video games become so violent and scary? Are you a hobo? Listen, I try to be nice. I try to be nice. You're mimicking You're me. mimicking me. That is rude, and this conversation is over. And this conversation is over.